On May 27th, SpaceX launched its Starship mega rocket from Starbase, Texas, in a bold ninth test flight aimed at pushing the boundaries of space exploration. The towering rocket, designed to carry humanity to Mars, roared into the sky, marking a significant milestone with the first major reuse of its super heavy booster. After two prior tests ended in explosive failures, this mission carried high hopes for Elon Musk's vision of interplanetary travel. The rocket reached suborbital space, a feat surpassing its January and March attempts and successfully separated its stages. Yet, the triumph was short-lived as the mission unraveled during re-entry. Let me tell you, step by step, how it fell apart. The launch was a spectacle, with Starship's Raptor engines igniting in a blaze of power, lifting the rocket into the evening sky. The Super Heavy booster separated and attempted a controlled splashdown, but exploded before reaching the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, the upper stage, known as SHIP, continued its suborbital trajectory, circling halfway around the globe. About 30 minutes after launch, trouble emerged. A propellant leak caused a loss of main tank pressure, sending SHIP into an uncontrolled spin. SpaceX Mission Control, unable to regain attitude control, abandoned plans for a critical in-space engine relight test and a soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean. As SHIP approached re-entry, the situation worsened. The leak compromised the vehicle's ability to orient itself, rendering its heat shield tiles ineffective against the intense atmospheric friction. SpaceX initiated passivation, venting remaining propellant, leading to an uncontrolled re-entry. The rocket likely disintegrated over the Indian Ocean, far from its intended landing zone. Starship made it to the scheduled ship engine cutoff, so big improvement over last flight. Also, no significant loss of heat shield tiles during ascent. Leaks caused loss of main tank pressure during the coast and re-entry phase. A lot of good data to review. Launch cadence for next three flights will be faster at approximately one every three to four weeks. Though the mission didn't achieve all objectives, like deploying a dummy Starlink satellite, it marked progress in booster reuse and suborbital flight. For SpaceX, each rapid, unscheduled disassembly is a step toward Mars, 